These lessons are included in my software and to watch all my lessons as well as to have all the 3D models with my Atlas, you should check out my website and purchase my software, flashbrainanatomy.com. In this lesson, I will illustrate the brain from the medial point of view. More precisely, I will illustrate one hemisphere from the medial point of view. First, I illustrated the corpus callosum, which is a commissure, the biggest commissure in our body. Those are simply the nerve fibers coming from one hemisphere and going to another hemisphere, the other hemisphere. And this is where we made a cut. The fibers are cut here. Then I illustrated the mammillary bodies here. And of course the nerve fibers, they come to mammillary bodies and that's the fornix. These nerve fibers are coming from hippocampus and they go to the mammillary bodies. To learn about the hippocampus you should watch videos about the lateral ventricle that are included in my software that you can find on flashbrainanatomy.com. However, when these nerve fibers reach the mammillary body, there are another nerve fibers leaving the mammillary body and going to thalamus, from here to thalamus. There is a thalamus on the other side too, so both thalami are connected with the interthalamic adhesion, right here. Now connected onto the caudal side of the corpus callosum here, and on the fornix is the septum pellucidum. These lessons are included in my software and to watch all my lessons as well as to have all the 3D models with my Atlas, you should check out my website and purchase my software, flashbrainanatomy.com. The septum pellucidum is a thin membrane that separates the two lateral ventricles. Videos about lateral ventricles and also 3D models of it are available to purchase on my website flashbrainanatomy.com. While we are illustrating the brain from this perspective, I will tell you that the corpus callosum is not the only commissure we have cut. There is also an anterior commissure here, and it also connects the cortex. Some parts of it connect the cortex, and some parts of it connect the nuclei of the two hemispheres. That's why one part of it is considered the real commissure, while the other part is not actually the commissure. Then I illustrated the hypothalamus. It is one part of, of the diencephalon. Another part of diencephalon was the thalamus itself. Then we have the hypothalamus here. It is another part of the diencephalon. The hypothalamus includes the mammillary bodies, infundibulum, the pituitary gland, and here we have the optic recesses and here is the peduncle recesses. This part over here is the cerebral crust and as you can see here the fornix enters the brain substance and then it goes to mammillary bodies. The fibers from mammillary bodies then again go to thalamus as I mentioned before. Then we have the pons here and then comes the medulla the medulla oblongata. It means the extended spinal cord. Then we can see the cerebellum here with its structures. You can notice the white matter and the gray matter here. And it kind of looks like a tree. I talk about these structures and I talk about the, the cerebellar nuclei in my videos that are included in my software. You can check them out on flashbrainanatomy.com. Now I will just say that the cortex, the gray matter, it has a darker color because here are the the cell bodies and the brighter color here are the nerve fibers and the nerve fibers have this brighter color because of the myelin sheet that they have and the myelin sheet gives them brighter color because of fat molecules. Of course we're looking at the vermis of the cerebellum. If I bring in the cerebellum here and we're looking at the cerebellum here that I illustrated and this is from the ventral point of view, we're looking from the ventral side. We have made a cut right here through the vermis and that's the surface where we made a cut. So it's logical that there is a hemisphere more lateral here to be illustrated. Then we have the, the tectum, the part of mesencephalon, the midbrain. Here 
is the superior colliculi and this is the inferior colliculi and they together form the tectum. These lessons are included in my software and to watch all my lessons as well as to have all the 3D models with my Atlas, you should check out my website and purchase my software, flashbrainanatomy.com. If I bring in the, my illustration of the same thing, but from the dorsal point of view, that's this point of view, with the cerebellum removed, we would be able to see the tectum here. This is the tectum. This is the superior colliculi here and here. And this is the inferior colliculi here and here. Then we have the posterior commissure here and we have the pineal gland here and the pineal gland can be seen over here so we have the third ventricle here this part is the third ventricle and this part over here is called the cerebral aqueduct it is called the aqueduct because it connects the third ventricle with the fourth ventricle here so this is the fourth ventricle, this is the third ventricle, and the aqueduct between them is cerebral aqueduct. This is the ventricular system, and it is filled with the cerebral spinal fluid. If we go here underneath the, underneath the fornix, we would enter the space inside over there, which is called the lateral ventricle. We could also go the same way on the other side, of the brain on the in the other hemisphere. There are many lessons I did about the ventricular system and you can find them all on my website flashbrainanatomy.com. Then I illustrated the telechoroidea here of the third ventricle and the telechoroidea also goes through this foramen here that I said that we can go through it to a lateral ventricle. The telechoroidea also goes there and it continues in the lateral ventricle. Then I illustrate the rest of the brain with all its gyri and sulci. And then I Photoshop it a little bit and this is what I get. So this is the sulcus and this is the gyrus. Okay. Gyrus is like a ridge on the brain surface and the sulcus is a depression in the brain surface. The plural of sulcus is sulci and the plural of gyrus is gyri. Now it's also important to know that we have the frontal lobe here, the frontal lobe here, we have the temporal lobe, you can see the temporal lobe here a little bit behind this brain stem, you can see the occipital lobe here and the parietal lobe here. So first sulcus I will mention is this one over here. It is the fissure between the corpus callosum and the cingulate gyrus over here. Then around the cingulate gyrus we have the cingulate sulcus. Then we have the subparietal sulcus here. And then we have the parieto occipital sulcus here. And this sulcus joins the calcarine fissure on its way right over here. So this is the calcarine fissure and this is the parieto occipital sulcus. Those gyri over here are called the superior gyri uh, of the frontal lobe. Here are the medial and the inferior gyri of the frontal lobe. To learn about all the gyri and sulcuses from the lateral point of view and the basal point of view, you should check out my website and purchase my software, flashbrainanatomy.com. Now, to show some more things, I will illustrate the same brain from the same perspective, but with, with the uh, brain stem removed. And here it is. You can notice uh, this was the thalamus. It is cut. This is the calcarine fissure here. And you can see the occipital temporal sulcus here and this is supposed to be the inferior temporal sulcus okay this is supposed to be the occipital temporal sulcus 
and this is supposed to be the um, inferior temporal gyrus. The cortex around the calcarine fissure here is important for the visual functions of the brain, especially for it, it is important only for receiving the signal, not for uh, connecting with with the experiences and remembering of the the visual signals from the past, but just receiving the visual signals. However, there are other areas that are important for recognizing the things that are seen and, and so on. And to learn about these, you should check out my website, flashbrainanatomy.com. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope I helped you out.